Hey, it's JC and welcome to Small Brick City. If you checked out two of my previous videos, I showcased the Millennium Falcon Kitty Ride as well as the Jurassic Park live action show. You might have guessed by now that there's a theme to these two sets because I am building a theme park. Get it? Theme. But this isn't just any theme park, it is a movie inspired theme park and it is called Movie Land. It will be the most epic theme park for minifigs in any LEGO city. At least that's what I think. All the attractions and the theme park itself will be reviewed in due time. But first, I'd like to show you the official diner for the theme park. I've always liked the friend set hot dog van, but I never had any space in my LEGO city. But since I've added new space and I have movie land in the works, it made sense to get my hands on this set. However, this set has a very distinct Friends colour scheme, which doesn't fit my taste or movie land itself, so I modified it to fit my theme park. The essence of the build remains as it is a very nice set, but I changed it to a more familiar food truck colour. I also added signage which reflected movie land, which consists of a clapboard against a white semicircle background with lights all around it. First, let's have a look at the hot dog minifig which is part of the promotional and marketing efforts to draw patrons to the hot dog van. You might recognize this as Robin inside the hot dog mascot and it is indeed a character Robin. After all, this is movie land so it makes sense to have a movie character as part of the cast. As mentioned, I retained the essence of the hot dog van but I changed a lot of the colours to fit my theme. Here's a closer look at the roof which is the top of the hot dog bun and I changed the front rounded modified bricks to red and white. The original colour was pink and red. While the signboard seems simple, it actually took me some time to figure out how to best represent this movie land diner. Incidentally, the name of this establishment is Star Dogs. I also changed those three long grey plates which were originally pinkish purple. For the dining area on the roof, I changed the chairs, tables and added towels as well as a transparent umbrella. Plates were also changed for the main body of this hot dog van. These include the long grey plate at the bottom as well as the white plates which acts as the countertop for the food truck. The dark grey round bricks which act as vertical supports were also changed and I added appropriate minifix to the set. There's a diner server as well as the chef. For the inside, I added in a chair, tiled the floor, added a cupboard with some desserts and a tinted blue window which seems like a refrigeration unit. Overall, the food truck is much better equipped to handle all the crowds in my theme park. I hope you like the minor modifications I did to the friend's hot dog van. I'm a proponent of always retaining the original LEGO designs because the designers take a lot of time to think of the concept and the build design for each set. So you don't always have to reinvent the wheel for a mock. Sometimes it's better to add on, take away or simply change elements of an existing set to make it your own. Leave a comment and let me know if you like these modifications. I'm sure you're excited to see how my eventual theme park turns out. Like this video and to make sure you don't miss out on my upcoming theme park video, subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on the notifications. Talk to you soon!